Good morning, everybody. If you've watched many of my videos, you probably have a really good idea of where I'm at. I'm out here at Mammoth Cave National Park again. Today I'm hiking the Collier Ridge Trail. So I've got a little personal goal of hiking all the backcountry trails. Um, basically before early summer. And this Collier Ridge Trail is one that's not really close to the main uh, trailheads I've, I've been using. Um, so this one was kind of out of the way. Got a few hours today. I thought I'd come and knock this one out. Should be close to around eight miles out and back. Uh, but it's a beautiful day. Easter weekend. Um, got a few hours and wanted to get outside and do a little bit of hiking. So here we are. Hope you guys enjoy this with me. Let's go. So it seems like this uh, Collie Ridge Trail is kind of on the rural side of South Central Kentucky. And there's lots of horse farms just on the other side of the National Park. And they use, it seems like they use this trail to do a lot of the uh, trail riding. So this one's nice and open and wide. I think this is a trail I do a lot of horse trails with. But really pretty. So far so good. Right now it's just me and the squirrels. A little gray day, but perfect weather for hiking. Everything kind of come to life over these past couple months. When I first started hiking out here, I was right in the middle of winter and everything was dormant and brown and not the prettiest, but you had amazing views. And now, daffodils come up, red buds are blooming. Everything's starting to green out. This is gorgeous. It's cool to be, to be able to admire everything for what it is. Enjoy it. what you got. Alright, we have come to that fork in the road again. If you watch the video, I'm hiking with my son. 
we came up from this direction over here and ended up going down this trail to the Raymer Hollow Trail. That's the direction we came from. And there's another trail. So, let's see. This is Horse Camp, Mammoth Cave. It's the Collie Ridge Trail. Raymer Hollow Trail. Some picnic table, place to hitch your horses, trash can, nice little place to rest and hang out. We don't have time. Gotta keep on moving. Quiet and serene, everything is. This way. Been on a horse trail for a few miles, and then now to get to this uh, campsite, it's a little footpath. So, this is definitely a change of. Pace. Got these orange blazes. Well marked, but not well traveled, that's for sure. Here we are down at the Collie Ridge campsite. This place is gorgeous. Alright guys, 
I got a confession. <laughs> First big rookie mistake. Um, so I knew I didn't have a lot of time to hike this morning. So I wanted to be diligent, set everything out so I could get ready and leave really early in the morning. Well, as I've been hiking, I've kind of felt some hot spots on my left foot kind of start to pop up, which isn't normal. Um, I get here to the campsite and I decide to take my uh, shoes off and get any pebbles and dirt and any of that that might have fallen in there. Um, and when I did that, I realized I forgot something. I forgot to put the insoles back in the shoes. So last time we were hiking, shoes got real muddy, real wet, and so I tried to clean them off, get all the stains off, uh, clean them up. And when I did that, I took the insoles out, let them soak, um, dry them out, and forgot to put the insoles back in. And didn't check that this morning, just kind of assumed like everyone does. And now I'm, I've been hiking without insoles, which is not ideal. So double check everything. <laughs> Maybe the, uh, the lesson for today. Um, all right. We've spent some time here. If you know me, you know how much I love coffee. It's good. Oh, it doesn't get better than this. Beautiful day beautiful scenery good cup of coffee all right let's make our way back more of these beautiful red buds but there's these black butterflies that are all around me. I kind of feel like a super manly version of Snow White or something. Walking through the woods, butterflies following me. Violets here on the trail. manure that's awesome so I'm gonna take a little breather at this uh, first little fork in the road on the way back it's got a little table trash can nice little place to sit down and have a little chat so like I said earlier um, early spring late winter I started hiking um, really kind of being inspired from other folks on YouTube to actually get outside, enjoy nature, um, spend some time hiking, um, kind of exploring um, that side of myself. Um, I decided to use really kind of this hidden gem just north of where I live, um, Mammoth Cave National Park. Um, I realized that Mammoth Cave is not really known for its hiking. It's probably known more for its cave, which makes sense considering the, the name it has. Um, but there's lots of beautiful trails out here. And um, I mean, what a great opportunity I have to be able to um, enjoy this um, almost any chance I, I have. Um, so I've been able to come out here and do some shorter hikes, come out here with some friends or uh, one of my sons wants to do some longer hikes. Um, ultimately, I think a, a goal I have kind of in the near future is to do an overnight hike. That'll be kind of the first big one. Um, I'll share more about that 
uh, later, but I think it's going to be a 35 mile overnight kind of big loop of, of most of the longer trails that they have here. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm slowly getting together all the gear I need. I'll share that with you. Um, but I just want to encourage you, if you're on the fence, interested, um, do it. Find time in your schedule um, and, and do what's near you. I happen to have a national park, but maybe you have some type of scenic trail or you've got a park or something like that. Just get out and do what you can where you're at with what you got. Um, that's my biggest encouragement. I've, when I started, I didn't have anything. I had a, my wife's old backpack and, and that was enough. That was enough to put a water bottle in and some snacks. Um, slowly, I'm, I'm kind of gathering together everything I need and it takes time, a little bit of an investment, but worth it. So if you're slightly interested, I just want to encourage you to take a step forward. Um, get out there, enjoy it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. I haven't been. All right, let's finish this up. Lovely little meadow on the way back. The floor's just kind of blanketed with this. These green leaves. Really pretty. Alright guys. We're uh, getting pretty close to being back at the trailhead. Back at the car. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you're encouraged, um, please like, subscribe, um, give me feedback. I'm, my goal is to be able to encourage people like I've been encouraged. Get outside, do what you can, where you're at with what you've got. Um, like I said, I've been trying to knock off all these trails off of my little uh, priority list. Um, I've done most of them. I'm hoping to have a big overnight, um, big loop around the park. Um, so this Collie Ridge Trail that we did today is one of those that I wasn't going to hit and haven't been able to hit yet on any of the hikes I've done. So kind of went around to one of the other um, parking spots at the National Park. Um, not one of the major ones. Um, had a few hours, had a little window of time this morning that I decided to uh, use it to get out, get on trail, enjoy it. Um, Collie Ridge Trail, definitely not one of my favorite trails I've been on so far. Campsite's really cool, beautiful campsite. Um, nice little overlook, has a spring really close by. Um, but you don't have to go on the Collie Ridge Trail in order to get to the Collie Ridge campsite. Um, there's other trails that can connect to it. So if you wanted to check that campsite out, I'd say start at Maple Springs and take uh, a few of those routes to get to it. Cool campsite, not the coolest trail, easy, still things to admire. Um, still, be still better than being stuck inside. So get out. Enjoy it. 
what you can with what you have with where you're at um, all right guys see you next time